because this weekend is Edo. We are just filling up. There's Jimmy. He's just filling up his his uh, motor. We've got Pete. There he is. Wait for these guys to fill up, then we'll hit the road. Just had a spot of lunch. We've driven all the way up from uh, Hertfordshire, and these boys have driven up from Guildford and Bournemouth. It's a fair, fair trek for them, them lot. And now we're just, like I say, about 20, 25 miles away from Edal, and uh, I think it's Ollie, Ollybrook Farm, if I'm saying that right. And I know we've got some of the uh, van lifers coming and motorhomes and all that coming tomorrow. Um, Gadget John, B-Roll Mandy, I don't know if Mevy's coming, I think one man uh, and his whip it um, for Louie and the poo pickers. Uh, but there's going to be loads of other other people there from doing the 4x4s because it's, it's a bushcraft show. So it's not it's not van life, it's not motorhomes, it's none of that. But I mean, I'm not a proper bushcrafter in any sense of the word at all. I, to, to be honest, I just like getting together with people that just want to sit out outdoors and with a fire, or cook some food on on the barbecue, and have a good have a good chat. That's all I, that's what I really care about. To be fair, can't wait. There's going to be uh, lots of drone footage. There's going to be lots of things to do. I think and there's going to be a few little walks, maybe have a little walk around. Well, it's not a bad weekend, really. Thinking about it, barbecue food and drones. Hey. <laughs> down there that was not a great ride in my fat ass motorhome just kept slipping in the end I reversed in with a great bit of speed but this place is beautiful yeah someone got us lost yeah somebody with all the technology no that was Pete Pete got us lost yeah he ain't here so we're definitely blaming him <laughs> so this is the first initial walk round at Edal. We've uh, set up most of our most of our camp, and I've got these two taking the piss out of me Hello. because I'm talking to myself and a camera. Better than playing with yourself. Well, yeah, better than playing with myself. But yeah, look at this. So we've uh, yeah, like I say, we've set up camp. We've got the awning out, got all, the, all everything set up, mainly how we want it. So we're just going to have a little walk round before we go back and make something to eat. But it's beautiful, it's even got a train line for it. That's brilliant. He's proper beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, you can't really see that here, but we were up. Oh, right there. <laughs> what, walk yeah. up that? Yeah, and these two went wank, just wouldn't do it. Yeah. I've got a job to fucking walk in the van, I don't know about anything else. How bad you walk up there? You don't. It's helicopter rides. <laughs> Friday at Edal. We've uh, had a bit of breakfast. It's about one o'clock in the afternoon. Last night was a bit of a windy night. And uh, I had to get up at four in the morning, take the awning in. Because it was, I just strapped it right down, but it was really banging around. I just didn't, didn't feel safe leaving it out there. I'd rather get up, waste 10 minutes, take it down, than it ruin the motor room. So uh, we've strapped up a tarpaulin, and uh, now we're just having a little wander around. More people are turning up today, and more people have already set up. There's little bits for sale, people's spares and duplicates, and things that they've you know no longer used, need. So we'll go have a little walk around.
that! I call that! <laughs> Damn it, mate, I need a little mic like yours. Look at that little mic. Yeah, cutting but, the wind out. Darren from Urban Motorhome. Obviously, you follow his channel if you Hello don't. Guys. Go and give him a sub. And vice versa, if you follow him and don't follow me, give me a sub because he's got more than me. Yes! <laughs> right, we'll stop recording. But yeah, we all know Darren. We're here with uh, Spiro from Wilderness Adventures UK. That's it indeed. So uh, we're just enjoying Edow, my first time. Your, your, my second time. Your second time, second yeah. Second time, yeah. It's uh, beautiful weather though, isn't it? Windy last night. Mate, I had to get up at five in the morning to ratchet strap everything down. I, got, I didn't want to risk that it. That man before, and it wouldn't be Edale unless it's windy. It's <laughs> no, always windy it's every year. It's proper windy. Yeah, oh, but yeah I, had, I had to wind it in. I did, didn't want to uh, didn't want to risk it. Yeah, look at that bike. <laughs> yeah, so old Mikey's in it. Be a proper man. Get a bike. Uh, they, you see, they say that, and they, they all say get a Land Rover. And then when they get one, they go, oh, the Land Rover's broke. Oh, it's broke. Oh, driving it for four hours, it just sounds like. Brrr. I'm going deaf. I'm going deaf. Yeah. What? What? But hey, get a Land Rover, they say. The good thing with these, though, is if you're out with the missus, you can't hear a word she says. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't like that. Oh, that's brilliant. Did you that, see a mouse you've just moving? sold so many Land Rovers. Yeah. See, Land Rovers should take that yeah. as their advertising yeah, slogan. Did you see that? They're looking for someone or something. Don't go walking, don't get up. Top tip there. Life hack, that is. Life hack. Didn't wear two pairs of socks, got a blister, called the ambulance. <laughs> Gadget John and that's here. Just arriving. There we go. Hello. It's sunny, isn't it? It's very bright. It's very windy here. Yeah. So it's uh, dinner time, and Pete, lovely Pete, in his van there, has cooked a homemade butter chicken curry, which looks banging. Here we go. Oh, boom shaka! That's what you do for your mates. It is what you do for your mates. Here we go. Look at this. Cooked it all in his all in his van. Right there on one of the it won't even a proper stove, is it? Go inside. Cooked it all on just one of these little camping stoves. Just there. drone out here it is and uh, it's broken <laughs> last time I used it at the farm in the Peak District I landed on a little table and uh, it fell off the edge so that must have damaged it I think one of the propellers is not spinning as much as the other three which means it don't fly. So now I've got to send it off to DDI and uh, try and get it repaired. So I took it down to John. They tried to have a look. He, he... Yeah, I am on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> he said that was his mother, it? Yeah, that's cool. No worries. <laughs> so tried to take it down to Gadget John. He had a little look at it. And uh, no, it's not happening. It is broken. I've got the Care Refresh, DJI Care Refresh, so they will replace it after paying excess, but I'm not sure if I've done the damage or, I mean, it was about, that was a table, and it fell from here to there. So, it's 
not exactly a killer fall. I know drones have fallen from the trees before and still get up and walk away. But, huh, kind of annoys me because I always get a lot of drone footage this weekend. So, that's not going to happen. And now, I'm just going to... Uh, I think John said he, he's got some drone footage, so... Any drone footage in this video will be courtesy of Gadget John. Which is... Uh, he, he offered to let me um, take the memory card out of my drone and fly his drone. But I'm not doing that. I'm not, I'm not flying someone else's drone, just in case. Uh, it's quite windy around here, so I was quite nervous about flying mine, to be fair. But I thought, well, you know, give it a go. See what happens. But the thing didn't even come off the ground. And uh, I think Pete in this van, he was, him and Jimmy were there because waiting to watch me fly it. And I looked like a right pleb. I think one of them, I think Jim, uh, Pete was filming it, so I'll get a little bit of uh, footage off him. <laughs> My finger where, where he tried to take off and went, yeah, didn't, didn't fly. Just fell straight on his face. So, yeah, I've got a three legged drone right now. But hey, but no, uh, this uh, this meet's going really well. There's so many people, and there's people of all different like genres, shall we say? I know it's a bushcraft meet, but you got the you got the van lifers and the van crew down there that have turned up. You got people just in in tents and doing their bushcraft, and you got the four by four boys and the bug out boys all over there um, doing their thing, which is really cool. But yeah, well, we're here till Monday. I think tonight we're going to be doing some some more food. Um, I don't know what we're going to be cooking, to be fair. But we'll, we'll cook something up. I've got a leg of lamb. I don't know if we're doing that tomorrow or tonight. It's, uh, yeah, it's all good. We've been walking around all day, and uh, I think I was meant to cook the leg of lamb or put it on the fire. Too right he was. But I didn't. Useless <laughs> So, I think we're going to have that tomorrow. We've got no choice now, have we, mate? And we're going to walk to the little village and have some fish and chips or something now. See what's in the village, so... Yeah, we've uh, had a nice walk around. I was trying to fly my drone, that failed. So yeah, let's uh, take a little walk into town. See what's... Uh, or the village, let's say, not a town. Have a look at the chip shop. Get some food! <laughs> Fish and chips in the Edal Chippy. Done. Gotta say though, was pretty good, but not the best I've ever had. Chips were nice. Fish, a little thin. A little thin. And no battered sausages. What is that about? Chippy with no battered sausages? Come on. You need the battered sausages, man. Would you like a nice slot? <laughs> Would you like a nice lolly for the Do I want an ice cream? And they've only got magnums. Yeah, of course I'll have a magnum. Oh, they've got a feast. I'll have a feast. Thank you, Peter. Thanks, Pete. Oh, yeah. I think it's the law. You have to have something to eat on the, on the walk home. You know, you need energy. So, you know. This is going all up in my face. Ah, oh, look, flipping YouTubers. <laughs> Get a proper job. Flipping YouTubers. Get a proper job. Uh, <laughs> you guys have got to. You can find you down this end. Yeah, just log in to 
Oh. No one knows about vloggers around here, so you've got to be really cautious. <laughs> There's no other own vloggers. No, none. Aaron, none. Hi, Darren. You all right, mate? No vloggers here. Get a proper job. <laughs> <laughs> Those damn YouTubers. Yeah. <laughs> day today as you can see I'm a bit sunburnt very sunburnt look like a flipping tomato but hey still handsome <laughs> good morning guys right it is Sunday morning at Edale as you can see from the windows it's a bit of a wet morning <laughs> uh, let me make sure you're clean you filthy animal yeah so yeah as you can see from the windows it's uh, been a bit of a wet night, wet morning. You look at them and you, uh, the other poor souls and you think, oh, that's, it's not nice when it's wet and you're in a tent. It really isn't. Um, so yeah, I'm just getting breakfast sorted. As, uh, as I've got the motor home, so the kettle's on. I've got the bacon ready to go in. Sausages are in. We'll get some mushrooms. We've got some black pudding. Knock all that up for me and the boys, and then uh, yeah, we'll just chill out and have some food. I'm still lobster pink, lobster red, tomato. As you can see, it's a bit of a wet morning. Breakfast in the motorhome for the three of us. Done. Washing's all soaking now. That's that. I'm about to eat this. <laughs> yes. How is it, boys? Great. Lovely. Yeah. Thank you, Darren. Easy. While they're all out in the rain. Uh, food. <sighs> all right, it is really windy and it's been raining all morning. We're just going over. I think they're calling the raffle prize, raffle prize now. The draw. So, we've got breakfast now. Just making our way over. Um, let's see what's going on. decided to make a break for it because there's more rain forecasted and it has stopped for a while but not not anything you can really do and it's so windy never been to a place that's so windy but a lot of people have uh, decided to leave this morning Jimmy and Pete both won a prize Jimmy won a knife and Pete won some liquid fuel so yeah there was a lot more people here but now um, yeah, not so much. Hello. <laughs> My question is to you survivalists, you bug out vehicles, why you've all bugged out when it's raining and gone home. <laughs> and yeah, us, us like camp, van, you know, van camper us, van people, yeah, we're yeah. still sat here enjoying That ourselves. is true. That is true. Yeah, we are still yeah, here. Yeah. I mean, I was doing the manly thing and doing the hoovering earlier. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my, my, mine's all nice and clean, but I'm still here, you know. Did you have your pity on? <laughs> no, it's in the wash. Oh, <laughs> pity you, did the, you did the washing as well. <laughs> <laughs> bit of washing, bit of hoovering. Yeah. There's nobody well, left though, is there? You should have put a roast on and invited us round. Like, I've got a leg of lamb in the fridge. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> if, if we want to get a fire going. <laughs> 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 Oh, 
Oh, I am well and truly stuffed. Look at that. You two, come out of a with a camera in your face. Come yeah. On. It's fucking YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> We're telling I you a story. I'm sorry. <laughs> 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 right. So you went round there the other morning. Yeah. And, and Darren's eating out of a dog bowl. And he said, <laughs> and I don't have a dog. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. And he says it's cheaper. He said you pay stainless steel plate. You pay eight pounds or something. You eat for a dog bowl. It's only two pounds. <laughs> So I, I said, I said, yeah, but you might get lead poisoning or heavy uh, metal poisoning. Yeah. It's stainless steel. It's not food grade it's though. It's dog, grade. it's dog grade. It's stainless steel. <laughs> it's a really good thing because it's got like a lip, so your food don't fall out when you sit around camp. <laughs> it's got the little bones in front. No, of no, no. He <laughs> doesn't have a portal or whatever. He carries little black bags around with him. They're mocking me about my dog bowl. Now look, I'm bigger when I come back from the pub. <laughs> look at this, look at this, and look at this. <laughs> I mean, really. Whoa, did they... Whoa, did, whoa, did, whoa, did they have... Did they not have fat people in the it's olden got, days? It's got gravel rash on both sides. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, really, what was there, food it's shortages? Like on one side. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, fat person. Hello. <laughs> it's like they just itch my butt tarts it's on like the way through. They didn't have fat people back in the Stone Age. <laughs> I mean, really. They did. No KFC. We were always the monks. You never <laughs> noticed that. <laughs> we're the wise ones. Yeah. We are the wise ones. Wise ones. <laughs> wide <laughs> ones. Wise <laughs> ones. Oh, the fuck is with my feet? It is a bank holiday Monday morning at Edel. Still got the beautiful views. It has been lashing down all night. And uh, yeah, everyone's gone. The gadgets are gone. Only David and his whip it down there now. Uh, wandering Wombles just on his way off. Um, we said goodbye to everyone. And uh, yeah, packed up everything. Everything's all clean. On to Hertfordshire. Back home, back home. Well, <laughs> technically I'm home. <laughs> but back to my area. Back to my patch, my turf. You say we was all down at the campfire last night, all just, you know, having a great laugh. I met um, George Virgo for the first time. He's a great guy. He's from Essex as well, so Essex boy. Brilliant. Um, yeah, no, it was a really good, really good time. There was two mixes. So I had the van life people and the and all the campers, and then we had all the four by fours and the bug outs and the bushcrafters. It was a real nice mix because I know both sides, so I can I can mix with both sides. And there, I didn't film half as what I was going to film because there was so much, you know, life happening. You know, and it's. It's a shame that I haven't recorded more, but at the end of the day, you, it's what you do, isn't it? You, you, you live your life. You, you can't just constantly film everything. So, just do what you can do, really, and uh, have a great time. But that is Edel 2019. Done.